Welcome back. If you'd like to uh, step outside the box and make something elegant and memorable with your hands, why not try making candles? This is so awesome. Joining us now, the founders of Love and Make, we have Amara and Bucola. Ladies, thanks so much for being here. Thank thanks you for, for having, having us. us. Let me first start off. These are workshops that you guys do, and how did you come about this? Is it something that the two of you are kind of like, we could do this? We did. So actually, we started... Last year, I got the idea when I was visiting a friend during Hurricane Harvey. I couldn't get back into the city. So I came up with the idea and had some trial runs. And then um, when we got back, when I was able to get back into um, Houston, I partnered up with Bucola, and we've been having workshops ever since. That's a pretty cool idea. Yeah. So it's a fresh start. And I understand the process is a little easier than one might expect. It, it really is. is. And that's what we're going to go through. So when you are in our class, we teach you everything you need to know to make your candles from the beginning to the end. And you end up with a perfect looking and scented candle every time. What a fun workshop, too, before we get started, because you can have a group of people as small as 12 or up to 40, so it could be kind of a girls' night out or maybe a class or something that you're going to do something fun together or team building um, that gives you that basically student experience in candle making, which is so cool. So how do we start out? So first off, who doesn't love candles, right? Right. One of the most fun parts of our classes is actually being able to mix and match your, fa your favorite fragrances. So today we brought about six fragrances. In our studio, we have over 30. And the funny, funny thing about that is that people have different smell palettes. So today we actually have a mixture of, um, it's a mixture of hazelnut coffee and lavender. I want you guys to take a smell okay. of that. Wow. So these are essentially the potions, and mm. someone can create a custom mix yeah, for their absolutely. fragrance. Oh, what? <laughs> I want to drink it. You like coffee? No, uh, it's it's like, almost oh, like it's, it's edible. Yeah, yeah. it's wow. a mixture. I know. Mm -hmm. And when you said hazelnut and lavender, I thought, oh, but it really is. It pairs it's a beautifully. Very nice mix. It does. And so, like I said, we have 30 fragrances. You can mix and match your favorite. Things that you don't even think could smell good, they actually come out wonderful. I don't think I've smelled a bad candle Not yet. Not at all. Okay. okay, so you start with the scent. Mm -hmm. We've yes. got that narrowed down. Mm -hmm. Now what? And now we're going to uh, measure. We, we're using soy wax candle, and that's what we use in our class. Okay. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was and just going to point up soy. so the viewers could see. Yes. These are just little soy wax yes. chips here. Yes. Okay. Okay. And this is 100% soy wax. Um, it's more environmental friendly compared to the paraffin wax that is more commercially used. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do is uh, weigh our wax, and this is about eight ounces of wax. Okay. Uh, okay. And weighing is critical because you want to make sure that the amount of melted wax you have fits your container. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And then so after we weigh our wax, and then we're going to get our container ready, and then Amara yes. is going to do that. So it's very simple. We're going to grab our wick. Oh, the wick. There's a wick here, and there's a little glue dot on this piece of paper and what we usually do is we attach the glue dot this one already has one to the little piece of paper and then we're going to stick that down into the center into the of center. our container so it'll stay in place in there. Got and it. then we're going to take the wick holder slide that over and then center it as best we can oh, and wonderful. there we go okay so are we then ready to pour the wax once it yes. is so, now so we... TV time, the magic of TV. Yes, <laughs> and so we're, wait, um, we're going to melt the wax and we're using the double boiler method. So when you do this at home, and this is for safety reasons, never melt the wax directly on top of the stove. And we're melting the wax, so at 150 degrees Fahrenheit, we're going to add our fragrance oil. Okay. okay? So the wax is melted. And right. then you guys can. I'm gonna have you pour oil. the fragrance. Oh, great. Okay, so just in here, not yes. in the candle, right? Okay, so right, right in, in there. there. Okay. Yeah. It smells so good. It Reminds does. Me I of, can smell it. <laughs> yeah. And you're going to stir for two minutes. Okay. So we want the wax to incorporate into oh. the fragrance. So you oil. want it completely blended exactly. so that the fragrance is distributed yes. throughout. Yes. It smells so good. So we're gonna and speed we're going to speed this up for TV pour. time. Okay. Yes. So there. now our candle, we're going to pour, and then we're going to allow it to solidify. And when someone is uh, creating a label, I mean, they can essentially name the candle whatever they want, Absolutely. Right? In this case, we're calling it Coffee Lover because we've got that coffee fragrance, which is the dominant note, and then we also have a hint of lavender. I love it, and that's so great because I'm going to move this out of the way so everybody at home can see the handwritten label there. That is so neat. Yeah, and once everything cools, which takes about how long? 
Um, about 45 minutes to an hour. But you 45 minutes, okay. They were, they were saying before, uh, as the candles are cooling, in about 45 minutes, you say, it turns into a candle that's ready to give as a gift or enjoy yourself. Yes, and then, you, so the candle is actually not ready to be burned, so you have to wait about three to four days to allow it to kill before we do burn the candle. Three to four days, and I'm not yes. sure the viewers at home could see this, but this is what the finished product looks like. Sorry, Courtney. No, to you're reach fine. In front of you. <laughs> you're fine. Well, what a great idea, ladies. It really is. And I should say, mention, too, that you guys, as you said, use soy wax. And so right. that's a natural, clean burn it for is. the candle. Yes, right. it is. And then we also have, you can use coconut wax also, or even bee wax. So those are natural waxes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thanks so much, ladies, for stopping by and showing us a little preview of what you do in the workshops. Like Courtney said, I mean, it, that would be a great. You know, girls' night out or guys' night out, too. Yes, yes. or friends' night out. Guys like candles. <laughs> Absolutely. And we're mobile as well, so we come to you. We oh. do corporate events. Wonderful. Um, but there's um, showers, and we'll come to you for that as well. Thank you so much. And for more information on the workshops, all you need to do is visit loveandmake.com. All right, still ahead on Houston Life, we'll tell you how you can enter to win a family getaway to the Woodlands Resort. It includes a four-pack of tickets to their water park wonderland. Don't go away.